Hello guys, today I will discuss an issue that you as a VFX artist working with Niagara in UE4 might be familiar with, and that's how to create a singular infinite particle with a proper fadeout after the activation triggered in code or blueprint. As you might know, there are some options in Niagara for that, but often we find that the particle stays existing and the system never dies, or that the particle just pops away without any proper transition. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, let me first explain to you the problem. So I will recreate a quick simulation of the exact same issue, and then I will show you my workaround for that. So let us first create a blueprint pp underscore test and the Niagara system preferably empty called ns underscore infinite particle open up both assets select the Niagara system add it into your blueprint add a delay of maybe two seconds so the system is automatically activated and after two seconds we want to deactivate it by saying set active to false and maybe also add a little print string that says the activate triggered compile save delete this one and now drag this blueprint in the scene now go to our Niagara system add an empty emitter emitter property set it to local sp uh, space now life cycle mode we only want to uh, spawn our uh, particle one time so we set loop behavior to once and the duration to infinite now go to emitter update and add in a burst of one so now we are spawning one particle and now go to the particle state and set particle uh, kill particle when lifetime has elapsed to false so now we have an infinite particle so now if we go to uh, uh, game mode, after two seconds, the activate is triggered, but still the uh, particle stays active. So maybe then you think maybe here we want to set kill uh, and say uh, system and emitter dies immediately. So after two seconds, it disappears. But we want an animation. We want it to transition out and it's not very pleasing to the eye. So instead, let us first uh, set it back. And uh, now we, we are wondering if we go back to particle state, there is an option that says, let infinitely lift particles die when emitter uh, deactivates. So maybe we want to set that to true and see what that does. So after two seconds, it doesn't seem to be working. At least it's not uh, transitioning out right now. So then we wonder, maybe we want to say scale color. Float from curve. So after two seconds, the issue is right now, so let us maybe first say a delay of five seconds. The system is already fading and now the trigger is uh, happening and then the particle is already faded out and it's that's not what we want. So uh, to explain better the issue let us set the delay to half a second so right now it should have uh, already started fading much earlier 
uh, let us maybe set this to 0.5 and this to 2. So you don't have to uh, follow uh, the same steps. I'm just explaining the issue. As you see, it's already fading out before the activate is triggered and we don't want that. So it's not really uh, working as intended. So I will show you my workaround for that. But before we continue, uh, some of you might have already, uh, you might, some of you might be familiar with this issue and might have tried to perhaps add in a new uh, float parameter and uh, connect it to the scale color. And then in the blueprint, you might have tried to add in a timeline and then set this user parameter from one to zero and then deactivate the Niagara system. But uh, often we find that it's very tedious and it's not very practical. We preferably want the Niagara system to do all the work and code to only say deactivate. And I have a workaround for that. So stick around and I'll show you right away. Uh, so next, let us first uh, create a module, Niagara module script, and then underscore, and we call this infinite timed particle. And open up our module. Now there are a few parameters that we want to create. First one is a particle attribute uh, of a float type. And we can call this one infinite uh, particle inactive time frame. So the frame at which the particle was deactivated. And then we also want to create a boolean uh, called deactivated. So was the system deactivated? And uh, this should be it for now. So let us uh, set both values in the map set. And in the map get, we want to uh, take the uh, engine time. We also want to take the execution, uh, execution state. We also want to take the uh, inactive time frame and our uh, boolean deactivated. And now we want to check that uh, if execution state has uh, been changed and not equal. Uh, let me change uh, all numerics to uh, execution state. And if it's not equal to uh, active, uh, let us uh, now first, if uh, deactivate has not yet been triggered, well, if deactivated is already true, what we want to do is uh, return true. So don't change it. We, all, we are already deactivated. So we are not, uh, we are overriding the value with the same uh, value basically. Uh, but if the activate is still false, so if it's not already triggered, then we take uh, this one and we check, okay, was the system set to false? And if that's the case, okay, then we, we will return uh, true. The system will be set to true. The activate it will be, be set to true. And now it will always take true, right? So next is we want to store uh, the time frame at which the deactivate was happened. So therefore we need uh, to take an end boolean. And now we want to say uh, logic not. So if the activate happened on that frame, but the activate has not yet been set. So basically this will only happen one time when this uh, system has been deactivated, this will only return one time true, basically, because the, set, the value is being set to true here, then we want to uh, take 
uh, the engine time. But if it's already set, then just keep uh, setting the inactive time frame to be the uh, inactive time frame value as it already was. That's mainly it. Now we just want to uh, animate uh, the value. So now let us uh, add our module to our Niagara system, but first enable the suggested flag and expose it to the library, go back to our system and update at the nm underscore infinite timed particle. In parameter rights now we have deactivated. So perhaps let us set the color. So color uh, based on the bool comparison. If the activate is true, then take maybe three. And if it's false, then maybe still keep it in black. Hmm. Ah, right. It probably the render is set. Yeah, it's set to additive. So let us first set this to translucent. And um, I think in particle state, I also forgot to disable this option. So. Now let us go back to our scene and the moment that deactivate is triggered, our particle turns green. <laughs> See, how cool is that? And what's even more amazing is that we have the time at which the particle was deactivated and if we subtract uh, that from the engine time and divide this value, uh, so based on the duration, and clamp that value, now we have a value going from uh, 0 to 1. And this we can use to uh, transition, but also uh, kill the particle when it exceeds uh, 1, right? So let us go back to our module. So, uh, Let's move the output module nodes aside and uh, create a map get, but also a map set. In our map set, we want to uh, set particle alive uh, to false uh, after a given condition. And we also want to create a float uh, value uh, of type, let me see, output, module output. And call this one infinite fade time, perhaps. And again, add it to our map set node. We wire the nodes. And in our map get, we want to create a input uh, float called fade duration, or let's call this deactivate duration maybe. So the duration that it stays alive after deactivating. We also want to take our engine time but also our infinite, uh, let me see, uh, particle inactive uh, time frame. Now if we uh, subtract that from the time and divide this value with, uh, with the activate duration, now we can have a value going from uh, 0 to 1 if we clamp it. Uh, we also want to add in a uh, check if uh, this value is greater than uh, 1. If it's greater than 1, then we want to say uh, set alive to be false, so we will have to invert it, of course. And um, in fact, we also want to add our deactivated boolean, add in a select node. If uh, deactivated uh, has been triggered, then we want to uh, check if this value is greater than one. So to, to 
remove uh, to set alive to false. But if deactivate is not yet triggered, then uh, keep alive to be true. And then uh, add in uh, another float as well. And if deactivate uh, has been set to true, then uh, take this as the output uh, animated fade time. Else just keep it to zero because we will use this value uh, for um, in, in our color uh, to scale the color and if we would set this to one maybe then this will mean we are already other at our fade out and maybe this will give issues right so yeah uh, now let us go back to our Niagara system and now maybe we want to say Disable this uh, module and now add in a scale color curve. And for the curve index, now we want to go to module outputs, and there we have infinite fade time. So deactivate triggered, right? We don't have, we have not set the um, we have not yet set the deactivate duration to uh, value yet, so maybe let us set it to one second. And this should work. So deactivate triggered. Now what's even cooler, actually let us um, delay four seconds. What's even cooler is that if I eject if I go out, you'll see that the, the, the sprite also is being removed and eventually the Niagara system is uh, being removed from uh, our scene, which is amazing. And this all with just a simple uh, disable active. And now we as VFX artists have much, much more power to, 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 to do some deactivation animations in our uh, Niagara system without bothering uh, our code team too much with asking them to, to first uh, lerp down a value, a float parameter that first uh, kind of transitions out the, the uh, single infinite particle. And, uh, so yeah, I hope you found this a great uh, tutorial. Um, all that with just a simple module. Uh, I hope you're gonna find great use of this and I uh, also hope you can uh, appreciate this uh, new uh, skill uh, or technique that I uh, showed you. So if you like this video then like, maybe subscribe, uh, whatever you prefer and uh, other than that have a nice day. Cheers!